guests. Here is your food critic, Justin, and your eyes in the hall, Rachel, as your special guest anchors. And now we go to our first story about a little something happening after school. Take it away, Stacy and Mayana. Thanks, Rachel and Justin. Tonight after school, there is a dance. The dance is right after school until 4 o'clock in the small gym. There will be snacks for sale. You will need sale. to purchase a wristband, and you need one wristband per person. You can get them for $2. There is still time to buy them, even today. They have been available since Tuesday the 19th. Everyone is welcome. You can get them in the morning in the school store. We hope to see you there. We'll be there. You must bring money if you want snacks. I'll grab my wallet. You can also get the wristbands during your lunch. Buy them at the door or, like we said before, the school store. It's a great time. Don't miss out on the 2013 dance. Tonight. Back, Back to, to you, girls. girls. Well, it looks like I want to stay up to school now. Here is our next story by Megan about toys for teens. Have you been seeing the signs around school about Toys for Teens? Yeah. Toys for Teens is a donation to teens if their parents can't afford to buy Christmas presents for them. This allows their parents to still give to gifts during this holiday season. To donate, you need a brand new toy or things teenagers may like and bring it into your home base. Please don't wrap it. These gifts are due by November 25th. Now here are some ideas. Mag magazines for boys and girls. Video games for boys and girls. Posters for boys and girls. Makeup for girls. And hats for boys and girls. Have a great day on a mess and a remarkable holiday season. Great ideas for a great cause, Megan. Now we go to Meredith and Cassie with a story about Black Friday. On Friday, November 29th, otherwise known as Black Friday, many of local stores in McHenry are having some amazing deals. Most go Christmas shopping even, even before the last Thanksgiving leftovers are gone. Black Friday is a major shopping day in America. The term Black Friday was coined in the 1960s to mark the kickoff of the Christmas shopping season. The black and Black Friday refers to stores moving from the red to the black, back when records were kept by hand. Red indicated a loss and black, indi and black ink indicated a profit. Black Friday is a long day from, with many retailers opening at 5 a.m. or earlier to cut clusters of people waiting outside the windows. There are many doorbuster deals, yet some stores may not even make a profit. Black Friday is a great way to start off your Christmas shopping. Make sure you t check your local newspaper or store ads for Black Friday deals. Now back to Rachel and Justin. Before we go out for Black Friday, let's bust some Thanksgiving myths with Jake and Brad. Today we are going to tell you some Thanksgiving myths. Pilgrims ate turkey. We do not know for sure what the pilgrims ate, because, but we are sure that they ate deer. You can thank the Victorians for the turkey, because that's what they thought people should eat on Thanksgiving. The pilgrims celebrated Thanksgiving anywhere between mid-September to late October. Thanksgiving was based on the traditional harvest festival that is celebrated on September 29th. The pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. The pilgrims actually landed at Provincetown. The pilgrims did not wear buckled hats or shoes because buckles were expensive and they had leather laces to tie their shoes and hold up their pants. The pilgrims were colorful clothes. They only wore black and white clothing on Sundays. Pilgrims lived in log cabins. Log cabins weren't introduced until the 1700s. Log cabins were introduced by Germans and Swedes. The pilgrims lived in, wo in wooden clapboard houses. The pilgrims did not have popcorn because all they had was available was flint corn that did not pop. Have a nice day, MNS. After all that food and shopping, don't you just want to get away? Kylie and Julie can tell you all about someplace interesting. I can go over break. Have you ever wanted to go somewhere exotic? Well, we've got a story for you. This is the Underwater Hotel by Josie and Kylie. The new Underwater Hotel has opened off the coast of Tanzania for interrupted and for ocean lovers. This was designed by a Swedish outfit, Kenny Berg, and this property was near the Swedish lake near Stockholm in 2000. 
The Uter Inn is a single room that lies three meters below the surface and contains twin beds and a table. Meanwhile, the Manta Resort is the latest underwater experience to shake up the hotel industry. While the conventional trend has been to look skyward and snag bragging rights to the building, tallest hotel or highest penthouse. Other hoteliers have been looking the other way, designing properties that maximize the beauty of tropical underwater environments. Back, Back to, to you, Rachel, Rachel and Justin. Justin. No, that place is just too weird. Looks like I'm just staying home this break. Now, here is Tatiana and Sydney with the most expensive diamond in the world. Hello, MMS. Today we are to be talking about the most expensive diamond in the world. The most expensive diamond in the world is a pink star diamond worth $83 million. It is one of the world's rarest and with an extraordinary depth of color, the most valuable diamond to be sold. The pink star diamond was discovered in South Africa in 1999 by mining giant De Beer and the pink gem was polished and cut for over two years. The pink star smashed the current 23 million record set by the graph pink diamond. The pink star diamond is made of 59.60 carat stone and it is the size of a plum. It was bought by Isaac Wolf who is bidding in the auction room on the year of 2007, who told reporters that he was buying it on behalf of a person who he represented. Have, Have a, a sparkling, sparkling time, time, MMS. Wow, that is one expensive diamond. Thanks, girls. Now here is Sam with expensive iPad games. Hello, MMS. I know most of us have iPads and iPhones, so here are the top three Apple iPad games. Baldur's Gate. At $9.99 for just a basic download, Baldur's Gate makes for a great first entry in today's expensive games. This is one of the deepest and most complex RPGs ever made. It's a real treat for those who fancy themselves true masters of the dice roll. Not only that, but this enhanced edition of the all-time favorite packs and plenty of new content in the form of an arena battle zone, new characters, and some new areas to explore. Modern Combat 4 Zero Hour. Game Lost Modern Combat series of games have battled their way to second, and they're starting to do a pretty good job giving the console big guns a run for their money. But there's a catch, and it's the relatively steep, en steep enter entry price to get stuck in the action. Still, that six nine nine gets you one of the finest single-player campaigns available for mobiles, as well as an extensive multiplayer offering. And to top it off, the Walking Dead Telltale tell tell series. The first chapter of this fantastic adventure will set you back in not inconsiderable four nine nine, but in exchange, you'll receive a highly original tale of the undead that will test your strength and compassion as much as your gaming skills. If you want to enjoy the game beyond the first spellbinding episode, you'll have to part with four nine nine per episode. Though you can grab the whole series for a less frightening fourteen ninety nine. The gripping plot, action sequences, and cell cell shaded graphics make it worth every cent. Be warned though, it is not for children. Even though some of it is a heartfelt storyline, it has mature content and foul language and should only be played with an adult's permission. In this game, you control your man, Lee Everett, to make the right moves to protect the little girl. You control his actions and moves. You can be a hero, silent man, and even an aggressive brute. The newest season is coming out soon. Have a good time in mess and remember to keep calm and game on. Now I know I need to save if I'm ever going to get any of those games. Now here is Ethan and Liam with the study about the iPad Air. Thanks, Rachel. Now for the new iPad Air. The new iPad Air is unbelievably thin and light. It was released October 26, 2013, and yet it is much more powerful and capable. Beautifully integrated with iOS 7, iPad Air lets you do more than you ever imagined in more places than you ever imagined. The iPad Air is one pound, 28% lighter, 20% thinner, 24% less volume than the regular iPad. The iPad Air also has a 10-hour battery life. Other great things about this new iPad include up to two times faster Wi-Fi and up to 300 megabytes and dual microphones, which result in better sound and clear audio. The iPad Air is $499, and you can find it at stores such as Best Buy and Walmart. Well, that's all for now, MMS. That's a cool iPad. Thanks, boys. Now here is Noah and Kenny with the star with a story on Portal 2. Hello, MMS, and we are Game Thanks. Geeks, and it's time to review Portal 2. Portal 2 is a first-person adventure puzzle game made by Valve and was published on April 19, 2011. It is playable on PC, Mac, PS3, and the Xbox 360. The player will play as a character named Shell, and 
that they have to go through a test a test uh, for the with for the portal gun as a lab rat. There is also a multiplayer cooperative mode where two players can play as the robots Atlas and Peabody. The game uses teleportation physics, so when you jump into a portal, you keep your same speed that you went through with. In the multiplayer, the robots are customizable with hats and other gear that you get. You can buy this game on Steam for $20. You can also buy the two copy versions so you and a friend can play it and it costs only $34.98. That game sounds cool. I might play it this weekend. And now here is Kaylin and Anna on MJW Cheerleader. Thanks, Rachel and Justin. Welcome, MMS, to the most amazing story yet. We are going to tell you about the MJW Cheerleading competition that happened on Saturday, November 16th. Congratu Congratulations to the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade cheer teams that for getting their bid to state. A bid to state is a certificate that lets you go to the state championship on no December 6th, 7th, and 8th at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates. Only the best teams in the state go there, and we're one of them, right, Anna? You bet. The teams had to get 75 points or high higher to get a bid. The 7th and 8th grade got lucky and got it at the last competition. If they didn't, they wouldn't go to state. A few of our cheerleaders in our school are for 6th grade. Aya Colby, Maria Fernandez, Caitlin Hicks, Alexis Kreitz, Lily Downing, Aaron Clements, and Anna Kirkman. And a few 7th graders are Kaylee Hederman, Kendall Sam, Lacey LaPlaca, Ashley Bush, Shannon Byer, Delaney Kernan, Taylor Hedding, Hederman, Jenna Vormitag, and good job, eighth graders. I know that the eighth, I know that the sixth graders got seventy nine point eight points, and the sixth grade graders also get to leave school early for it. Ha 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 ha! Yes, and now back to the anchors. That is some wicked cheer competition, girls. Now we go to an exciting review of the big game in the Windy City that took place last Sunday with Alexis and Cece. Hello, MMS. Today we are going to be talking about the Bears game that happened on Sunday, November 17, 2013. During the game was a downpour that happened, and they had to delay the game for one hour and 53 minutes. Don't you think that's a long time, Alexis? Yes. Did you know that the game was stopped with 4 minutes and 51 seconds left in the first quarter, and the, game, and the players didn't come back onto the field until 3.15? The game was resumed at 3.25. Wow, I did not know that. Although the fields were very slippery, and plus, um, plus, there was also a tornado warning. I heard that the rain was so heavy it looked as if the Chicago skyline was gone. Wow, the Weather Channel said that the winds were going to be 75 miles per hour. Wow, that is some fast wind. Even though with all the bad weather, the Bears were able to score 23 points over the Ravens to win in overtime. Next week, they play the Rams from St. Louis. Go Bears! That was a long game, but the best team came out victorious. We go now to Alexis and Hashi with the Top 10 Music. Hey, crazy people of MMS. This is the Top 10 Songs Bought on iTunes. Number 10, Lost by Lady Gaga. Number 9, Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. Number 8, Let Go by Passenger. Number 7, Wake Me Up by Avicii. Number 6, Roar by Katy Perry. Number 5, Demons by Imagine Dragons. Number four, Timber by Pitbull Feet Kesha. Number three, Counting Stars by One Republic. Number one, I mean number two, Royals by Lord. Haha, <laughs> that's the first in your new number one is PYD by Justin Bieber featuring R. Kelly. Now I'm back to you, anchors. I certainly did not expect that, but we now go to Avery and Maria with more on this shocking out of nowhere song called PYD. During a recent 
Press tour, R. Kelly revealed he had been working on a new collaboration with Justin Bieber for the 19-year-old Hashtag Music Monday series. Less than a week later, Justin Bieber drops a, drops a more da grown-up track titled PYD, Put You Down. Justin Bieber is counting down to the release of his Bieber Believe movie, which hits theaters across the nation on Christmas Day. Until then, Bieber plans to release five more Music Monday tracks for your listening pleasure. PYD is Bieber's latest hashtag Music Monday release. On YouTube, his video has 2,449 views. For the audio version, there's no official video out yet, but keep listening because we'll let you know when the video does come out. Make sure to check it out. See ya! Cool song, but I just don't like Justin Bieber. But I do know what I like, and it's food. Here's the latest review from our own food critic, Justin. This week, the spotlight falls on Little Caesars. Michael and Martin Lich, the founders of Little Caesars, it started with a little-known snack called pizza, bought, brought home by World War II soldiers returning from Italy. Mike and Martin saw promise in the new food and were passionate about starting their own pizza business. They invested their 10,000 life, life savings toward opening a single Little Caesar shop in 1965. The success of Little Caesars allowed Mike and Martin to own other business, and the food, sports, and entertainment industries included the Detroit Red Wings and Olympia Entertainment. Among others, just like Little Caesars, Mike and Martin businesses are synonyms with fun. Their appetizing lineup of Little Caesars Han Ready products is made from the finest ingredients. Their dough is made in each store every day and, are, and their cheese is freshly shredded. Their world famous pizza sauce contains a secret blend of spices. What is Han Ready? A large 14 pepperoni pizza hot, hot out of the oven and ready where you are. No need to call ahead. No need to wait. No limit. Regional Han Ready pizzas include Ultimate Supreme, Hula Hawaiian, and Three Me Treat. Visit your local Little Caesars. One Little Caesar you can go is located on 3337 B West North Avenue, Chicago, Illinois 60647, and their phone number is 773-772-547. And keep eating MMS Pizza Pizza. Greetings, Justin. Now here's your eyes in a hall with another great interview with Mr. Shepchak by me. Hi, Mr. Shepchak. Would you like to do an interview for WMS News? Well, I was just about to leave because it's 2.40, but then I thought, sure, I have time. Okay. Why, did, why don't you do No Shave November? Uh, the No Shave November? Because uh, I usually do a No Shave July. Okay. Why science? Why not? It's like math or social studies. Well, I'm certified in science, language arts, and social science. Wow, that's impressive. But I really enjoy science a lot. Do you think Mr. Phillips will win the New Year's November? You know what? I don't know if he's going to win, but if I had a guess, I'd say, I don't know. Okay. How was that? Do you like the new technology? Oh, the Chromebooks? Yes. Let me see. Are ours locked up? Yes. Oh, I love them. Even better yet, I think the kids love them. Yes, we definitely do, Mr. Shantai. What do you like to do after school? Well, let's see. Sometimes I go home and have a snack, healthy snack, banana, apple. Sometimes I'll go work out. Sometimes I'll just watch a science video. Do you like animals? Um, uh, well, this is Jumbo, and uh, I don't like him. I, I love Jumbo, and other animals, yes. I really love animals. That's why I don't go to uh, circuses with animals, because that's animal abuse. Playing video games? Yes, I play some video games. Halo. I like some of the sports games.
But some of the violent games, boy, I don't know if some of the students should be playing some of those games. Well, I know a lot. What do you, what do you feel about these rubber band bracelets? Oh, those bracelets. Oh, I think they're so nice. I just don't know how to make them. So that's why I don't have any. Wow. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chef Chuck. Have a good weekend, MMS. And as always, stay classy. Tatiana and Sydney. Oh! Misty Day. Armistice Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll read that. What? Okay. Get it. You do it. You can't say what in the middle. Gah. Now I know I need not wear buckled hats or shoes. Because buckled were. Thanks <laughs> for <laughs> buckles. Expensive. They did not wear buckles or shoes. <laughs> Rachel, read it. Oh, God. The pilgrim. The pilgrim self. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Uh, this. Well, you better be playing this game this weekend. Have fun. We're Game Geeks. See ya. That's it? That's it. Peace. Be the cat of the week. Peace. See you later. Peace. And on Friday and Saturday, they are open 10 a.m. Until 10 p.m. Remember, keep eating and stay hungry, Emina. More about what this... See? I know! Stop.